Hello foodies, welcome to Foodland and today's special dish is meatballs curry which is chicken kofta curry. Here are the ingredients. To make chicken meatball curry which is kofta curry we need half a pound of ground chicken, gram flour, two tablespoons, fried onion, four tablespoons, half a te teaspoon of salt, two to three green chilies, half roughly chopped onion, and some coriander. And for the gravy, we need two large thinly sliced onion. I've taken about four tablespoon of tomato paste. If you don't have that, you can also get two tomatoes pureed. One fourth cup of yogurt. Two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. I've already made this fresh. In the whole spices we need one tablespoon of kasuri methi, nine to ten peppercorns. This is fed. One tablespoon, three green cardamom, one star anise. This is coriander seeds, about two tablespoons. Cumin seeds, half a tablespoon. Clove, six to seven. Cinnamon sticks, small pieces, three four and bay leaves too. Of course we need oil for all this and let's get to the powders. So we need salt per taste, one tablespoon of kitchen king masala, you can skip this if you don't have, about one and a half tablespoon of garam masala, quarter spoon of turmeric and about two tablespoons of Kashmiri red chili powder or any chili powder if you have. So let's get started. The most convenient and easiest way to make koftas is just grind all these ingredients in a mixer jar and that's it. You can see how it turns out. Fried onion I used in a store bought but you can make fried onions or you can completely skip it but taste of the fried onion in the koftas are really good and uh, of course fried onion and gram flour which is besan that that are the binding ingredients in this kofta so let's get mixing all well So in about half a pound of minced chicken, I have made 13 koftas. Once they are nicely toasted, to add onion. I always make this in a bigger quantity so that you can use it nice and quick and it's very tasty. Turn the heat high and let's fry this onion to golden brown. Alright, in about 6 minutes you see this onion is br turning brown now and the aroma of this whole spices is mind blowing. And now I'm going to keep it aside and let it cool for about 10-15 minutes and then going to grind this mixture really well. Alright so let's turn the heat off and let it cool. So you can just make this in a bigger quantity and keep it in the fridge 
it stays for about 10-15 days easily I sometimes freeze it this uh, mixture this gravy I freeze it and whenever I'm making any gravy dish so that's a cool trick here let it cool for about 15 minutes and then grind it all right so as you can see my onion mixture gravy is ready I have added just little water just to blend it together so my mixture is ready my gravy is ready and let's get started making the curry add about three to four tablespoons of oil all right, all right so once oil is hot add bay leaves garlic paste mix this well Saute it until the raw smell of ginger garlic goes away. Now add all powder. And time to add our gravy, the onion mixture. This is the key to the best gravy dish. We have to saute this masala really well now it's turn the heat to low and add yogurt mix it really well Alright, so in about 5 minutes, I'm going to add a spoon of tomato puree, tomato paste. Mix this well. If you don't have tomato paste at home, you can simply add tomato puree. I'm going to add that additional water. To make it smooth gravy mix this well okay so once you add the uh, water I'm going to crush this kasuri methi and add it here this is going to give us a beautiful aroma and flavor mix this well and now since our meat is not cooked yet we are going to add the balls in the gravy. There are two ways to make kofta curry. You can also shallow fry these meatballs and uh, put it in the gravy. Meatballs are not cooked and they are going to absorb all the flavors of the gravy here. So now I'm going to cover it for about 10 minutes and our dish will be ready all right so in about 15 minutes let's see how it looks look at this beautiful as i said the meat meatballs are now nicely cooked and of course all the spices of the gravy is absorbed by the meatballs so now let's add some coriander oh wow look at this beautiful and look at this my delicious kofta curry is ready this is chicken meatballs curry but you can definitely add veg koftas or any kind of meat you can use look at this beautiful 
this is so flavorful and so tasty you can have this kofta curry with rice or roti or any kind of indian bread if you like look at this beautiful right. so let's see this. did you see how easily this got cut beautiful and flavorful enjoy this with rice or roti thank you for watching this recipe and thank you for visiting foodland again of course if you like this recipe please hit the like button share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye